Hi, I'm Ali Little, and I'll be uh, talking about concussions today. So, why did I choose this subject? Well, why I chose the subject is because the, my two th main things is football and lifting. And what, when, you, when you have a concussion, you'll find out later, but both of these things involve a lot of work and a lot of brain work, too. So, I can't weight lift, which is what I love to do and what I spend most of my time doing. I can't play football is what, what I really put a lot of my time into and that revolves around that. So it would be a huge deal if I couldn't do the two things I love the most. Like what if you guys couldn't choose the one thing that you love the most in like two of them? So what is it? So basically it is, it's what happens is there's fluid around your brain in between the skull and your brain and your brain, when you hit something against, like if I hit my head against this, it will send, like your brain will move forward. It will go through the fluid and hit the skull, and that will cause a concussion. And why it's concussion and how it affects your brain is it rips blood vessels, and it also um, damages and bruises the brain, which affects it just mainly in the front part here, which is, which is sight and memory, which is the two pretty important parts of the brain. So... And so it has a big effect. And like, how do you get them? So multiple consecutive hits over a long period of time. So usually that's why in the NFL that's a lot of problems because it's not, it's not, it doesn't have to be a huge hit. It could just be over time. <clears throat> you just have it consecutively, and that just causes it to just keep on going closer to the skull. Um, it could be anything from like a big hit, like a guy gets like knocked out on the on the football field, or I've had someone that told me they had a concussion just by hugging someone and they bumped heads. So that was that's what happens if you have too many, and that was actually our personal trainer Liz. <laughs> uh, and um, how can you tell if you had one? Well, it's hard to know since they're invisible. You have to have a scan in order to have to see your brain cells and how they connect. And the three symptoms are loss of, loss of consciousness, loss of sight, and loss of memory. And those are some key things, obviously, what you need to have. So obviously you're going to get told if you get knocked out because that's pretty obvious that you had a concussion. But sometimes when you have blurry vision, it's pretty hard to like, tell and it's like, hard to say something about it. Um, it takes around 7 to 10 days for a normal. That's only 80-90%, but sometimes they could take up to months, which is really hard to like accommodate for. Um, how can you recover? Lots of rest and sleep, and that revolves around no working out, and that's just from the picture. It just says no playing contact sports, and just kind of no sports in general. Um, school makes your brain obviously work hard because school and that's why, so school is a big part, and sometimes you have to miss it for a week, and parents might not like that, but it's better than that affecting your whole life later on. Uh, wearing sunglasses, it kind of, if it gets really that bad, you'll have to wear sunglasses, but it probably won't be too bad, but it might affect you know, your vision. Um, how are you sure you never have no, use the helmet for a correct, the correct purpose. Don't wear like a lacrosse helmet when you're riding like a motorcycle. It's pretty obvious. Um, use professional brands like Nike and Adidas. Those are some good ones, and I don't know what brand that's made of, but you should probably use that one too. Uh, after you have one, it's three to six times more likely. So you, you want to kind of protect your brain, especially from the first one, because after you get the first one, it's, again, three to six times more likely, which is a big difference. Interesting facts. In the U.S., there's roughly like 300,000 uh, concussions per year. But those are like the reported ones. So there's a lot of them that pe we don't know about because we, a lot of people don't want to stop playing sports and go to school and stop doing weightlifting because that's what their passion is. Um, less than 10% of the concussions actually are not like getting knocked out because you think of people getting knocked out, they're like, oh, that happens a lot. But it's actually that's less than 10%. And um, what uh, uh, there's some of the graphs and... Um, the, one of the tests that's how many fingers am I holding up for concussions actually does not apply it at all anymore. That's just, they just do that now. I don't know why. Um, in the future, I, need to, I want to talk to people about these to get people more of an idea on these because they're really hard to understand. And to uh, talk to doctors, my aunt's a doctor, I would like to talk to her about that. And, uh, to, and when you're playing f like flag football, when people tackling with their head, I'd say don't do that because you could be out for seven to ten days. 
in reflection setbacks. Um, I've had some setbacks. I'm not a perfect person. I did get off track a couple times, but I found my strength. And what I, my strength was is over working the whole period of time, I'd get less done than actually working 40 minutes and messing around the five minutes because I can have a reward. So I got more done in 40 minutes than the whole period, which isn't like a five minutes difference, but it makes my mind say I, have, I can rest later so I don't have a big problem. That's the end. Thank you.